Thank you very much for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about some basic accounts payable processing. Let's go ahead and take a look at our agenda. So the first thing we're going to do is review a couple of settings and vendor maintenance. Then we're going to enter and release a bill. And we're going to talk about how the status of the bill changes when we do that. We'll show you how to pay the bill and again talk about how the status changes. And we'll drill into that payment information and we'll also show you how to drill back into the bill details as well. Lastly, we'll talk about how to make multiple payments because that's really what most people do as opposed to paying a bill one at a time. The first thing we're going to take a look at is vendor maintenance. So in Acumatica, I've gone to payables and I'm going to go to vendors. And let's just take a look at our vendor AA services. Once again, there's just a couple of settings I want to point out here for you. One is if I go to the financials tab for this vendor, you can see that I have terms defined for this vendor as 30 days. So the invoice needs to be paid within 30 days as a default. I go to the payment tab, you can see that my payment method for this vendor is check as opposed to wire transfer or credit card or something else. And I've also defined a cash account that will be used to pay this vendor. I've also indicated how the payment date is going to be determined. And in this case, it's going to be by the due date. So the next thing we're going to do is enter a bill for this vendor. Now I have a bill from this vendor that I've received that I'm gonna show you here. And so here's a PDF copy of the bill that we received from the vendor. You can see the invoice number is 10058 and the bill is for $2,000 worth of implementation services. Let's go ahead and just close that. So let's go to in payables. We'll go to bills and adjustments and click new or we click the tile that says new bill, or we can open all the bills and hit the plus sign to add a new bill. Let's just do that. So we received the bill from AA services. So we'll select that. Notice that the terms came in. And if we look at the financial details, you can see that the information for the payment came in as well. So our payment method and cash account. Now we have to enter a vendor reference on the bill. This is a accounts payable setup option and our bill was, or invoice number from the vendor was that. And we'll just put in a comment. And we'll go to the document details line. So I'm gonna add a detail line. I'm gonna to go to the transaction description and just type what the bill was for, there we go. And we don't have to have an inventory ID. In fact, since we're in accounts payable bills, we can't put an inventory item in. That would come over from purchase order. We don't have to have a quantity, a unit cost, but we do have to have an extended cost. So we're just gonna say this bill was for $2,000. So as I enter that in, you can see that it populates the total at the top. Now I want to point out that the status of this bill as I enter it is on hold. And that's because of setup option in accounts payable preferences says that all new documents, in this case bills, will come in with the status of on hold. So what we're going to do is go ahead and save this and remove the hold. Now we don't have to save it before we remove the hold, but I just wanna make sure we do. So now notice that the status has changed. So once the status is changed to balanced, we can then release the bill. So let's go ahead and do that. So I push the release button and notice now that the status has changed to open. So an open bill is waiting to be paid. So the next step is we're going to pay this bill. So here we are back in our agenda. And our next step, as I said, is we're going to go ahead and pay the bill. Now, before I do that, I wanna point out that I have a PDF copy of this bill 
And I can attach the PDF copy of the bill to the actual bill in Acumatica. And there's a number of ways you can do that. You can go to the files menu and add a file. You can browse to it and upload it, those kinds of things. But you can also just take the file and drag it directly to the bill. And when I've done that, notice that it now says files is one. There's my PDF. If I open it, I can see the actual bill. So once we've attached this to the bill, it's available for anyone to see into perpetuity. So anytime that we drill back to this particular bill, regardless of when it was generated, when it was paid, or those kinds of things, anyone can drill back to the original bill. But now let's go ahead and pay it. So while I'm on the bill, I'm just going to push the button that says pay. And that will take me to the checks and payments screen with this particular bill already selected. Once again, notice the payment method is check and the cash account. Also notice once again that this payment is on hold or this check is on hold. And that's because of that setup option in accounts payable preferences. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the hold. And so now the status has changed to pending print. And so now I'm going to go to the print slash process and that will take me to the process payments prints checks screen. It knows that it's going to be a check that we're going to print. So we'll go ahead and process all here. And it's going to show us the check. So here's our check and we would print from the printer from here typically to our check stock, but we'll just go ahead and close that. And now it's moved down to the next step, which is to release the payment so that we can tell Acumatica that this payment was done. So once again, we'll just do process all here. Now, typically you would just close the screen, but before I close the screen, I'm gonna go back to the process here. And you can see the check number was this. I'm gonna click on that. That's gonna take me back to the check. And in looking at the check, you can see the check is closed. And if I look at the application history, you can see that this particular check paid these bills. It could be plural, but in this case, just the one. And it's going to tell me the reference number of the bill. So we can click on that. That'll take me back to the bill screen. And now notice that the status of the bill is closed. And if we look at the applications, you can see that this bill was paid with this check. And once again, if I look at the files from the bill, I can go back to the original invoice that I received from the vendor. In terms of bill status, when we first started, we entered the new bill. The status was hold because of my accounts payable preferences said to put the document on hold. When we took it off a of hold, the status changed to balanced. And then once we released it, the status changed to open. And then once we've paid it, the status is now closed. In fact, if I do a look up here and show you a list of bills that are still out there, you can see what their statuses are. So let's go ahead and just close this down and close this window. So now, We've shown you how to enter a single bill and then do a payment against that single bill. But the reality is you probably will be doing multiple payments at once as opposed to one bill at a time. So we're gonna show you how to do that. So here we are in Acumatica back in payables and I'm going to go to prepare payments. And what you're going to see here is a screen that will let me choose the payment method. So I'm gonna choose check. Let me choose the cash account. I could also choose vendor class or a single vendor or project. And then I also have some options on what bills to pay based on pay within, the pay date is within X days, the due date is within X days, cash discount is within X days in case I get a cash discount. So you can see this list will change depending on what options I select here. So you can see those are just coming and going. So now as I look through the list here, you can see the due dates and you can sort by this or you can select by this. So if you know that you need to give a, a couple of days for the check to be in the mail to the vendor and you still wanna pay the bill on time, then you can choose future due dates, select future due dates, those kinds of things. 
And then it's going to show me the amount I'm going to pay and what the balance of the bill is going to be. So if I want to make a partial payment, let's say I only want to pay $30,000 of this particular bill, I could do that and it will still have a balance remaining of $44,000. So you have a clean edit list here of which bills you want to pay. And then when you're ready to make the payments, all you do is either select all or process all or select the ones that you want to pay by clicking them. And once again, you can sort by vendors here, those kinds of things, and then just process. And that will now take me to the print screen where I can then see the checks that are going to print. In my example here, I have three checks and we'll just go ahead and process all of those. There are my three checks, and now we're ready to release, and we just release those. And if we want to see the ones that got processed, we can. If not, we just close the screen. So the first thing we did was review vendor maintenance. We took a look at some settings in vendor maintenance that will affect how payments are processed for that particular vendor. We also enter and release the bill. We talked about the statuses of the bill as they are released and paid. We showed you how to pay the bill one bill at a time. And then we showed you how to process multiple payments. Please subscribe to our channels. You can find us on LinkedIn at that address. You can contact us directly at NIMS and Associates at ERP at NIMSAssociates.com or the number on your screen. And thank you once again for your time and your attention.